Greetings and salutations, everybody. I want to welcome you to a pseudo unboxing video of the Beretta 92A1 and tell you why this is the best buy there is out there right now as far as Berettas goes and, and maybe in everything if you find a good deal. The, why the Beretta 92A1 specifically is the sexiest and the toughest Beretta that there is. Uh, and I'll tell you why it's the toughest. It's the largest physically as far as different areas where there's a bit extra girth. Because this was based on the 96A1, which was a 40 caliber, or the 98A1, 9x21, so a higher pressure round. Meaning that this is a thicker frame, actually. It's thicker in various little small detailed areas. And it has a recoil reducing uh, buffer inside. So because of that buffer, doesn't really need it for 9mm unless you're going to shoot plus P+. Plus. If you want something that's going to have a steady diet in NATO or a good occasional use of plus P+, plus, this, in my opinion, is the toughest Beretta 92 that there is. This being Italian and having the rounder trigger guard, I think it is the sexiest. You know, until the Enox 92X, um, until 92X prices drop, this is really a great buy because it's the toughest, it's the sexiest, it's made in Italy. The finish, this has just fired 150 rounds about, and it's really good slide to frame fit really really pretty slick i'm pretty impressed with that i mean it's not a wilson combat or anything but but i think that's pretty darn good dasa um if you have large hands this is a great buy because it comes with three of the 17 round sand magazines so it's got the d10 in the middle to drop the grit the sand the fine afghanistan Afghanistan sand down in it and really um, these are the best magazines I think that Beretta puts out are these 17 rounder sand style magazines that are pretty much flush fit empty weapon flush fit there now talking about magazines there's good aftermarket support magazines like 17 rounders from Acme. Those function full. Everything functioned flawlessly today with four different types of ammo. Actually, eight different types of ammo. If you count the, count the hollow points I did off camera, ran, running it through a 20 round McGar magazine with the new base plate. So this is designed um, so it can handle really repetitive dropping and competition and stuff on concrete. So the new base plate, but that's going to be great for home defense and for carry. Now into the old 15 plus one Beretta. McGar 18 flush, 18 flush fit. So now 18 plus one, that really brings it up. I'm gonna, I'm a big guy, I'm gonna conceal carry this. Um, eventually like a 92X GR Centurion would probably be most people's best bet for carry. And if you needed the thinner vertex style slide, but I have big hands, I think I actually like this better. Eventually I'll probably pick up one of those, but for the money right now, this is really the bad boy that there is. And just in case they don't get made forever, I think this is something um, you guys might want to pick up. It comes with three white dots. Pretty nice. I don't mind these at all. Um, I don't really like the painted red ones that come on the Enoxes, unfortunately. I'd like to get an Enox, but I really don't like how that looks. So, there you go. Um, you can play your uh, Lethal Weapon or Die Hard Fandom. Even though it's got a rounded trigger guard, I think that's a much sexier look or Le Professionnel. And um, it's the open slide. You know, for a brand new gun with brand new magazines to function flawlessly with all the different, four different kinds of ball I ran through it. And then I ran four different types of hollow points. Uh, off camera so my my full review will be coming eventually guys look for that but i think it's just a really beautiful weapon and if you check out online 
you might be able to find a very good deal. It's bigger and it's tougher because it's based on the 96A1 40 cal, but it still has uh, that, that buffer reduction piece uh, in slide. So when the slide's hitting the back, on regular American slow 115, that's not going to matter. So your 92 FS is whatever, that's fine. But if you're going to run plus P, you're going to run NATO, you're going to run SMB, or you're going to run plus P plus, this is the one, or a Brigadier model, or the ones that I feel confident that I would run a little bit of plus P plus in. So um, whether you're getting a, like a 124 plus P HST, Gold Dot, Golden Saber, you're probably at about, I'm guessing, 12 35 feet per second depending on the weather temperature etc about 12 35 feet per second out of this now if i go to underwoods 124 plus p plus though i basically have a 19 shot 357 magnum that's not bs these are real world numbers from ballistics 101 1421 feet per second that's a muzzle energy of 516 foot pounds now, it looked like that was a very hot area in the desert, and that seems high to me, but that's what you could get out of it. Um, Paul Harrell shot it, and got, and it was in the snow, winter, whether that was Washington or Oregon, I don't know, um, but definitely very cold and snow everywhere on the ground. 1,311 feet per second, 473 muzzle energy. So... Um, that's right up there with two and a half inch 357 Magnum with the hottest ammo or a three inch with fairly hot ammo. Um, even the high numbers from Ballistic 101, that is what old school Federal Remington loaded, the old street loads, will get from a Ruger GP1, uh, 101, uh, GP100 three inch, will get... 1400 feet per second, about 1398, 1400 feet per second. So this is almost that, possibly even more in the summertime if you put that underwood ammo in. So having 18 plus one or slapping 20 for home or for the backup, 20 plus one, uh, it's got a rail to put your light on. So as kind of the do everything, brother, if you're a large guy or you have large hands, I think this is the one and a great buy to get. And, um, you know, if you're like me and maybe eventually I'll get a 92X GR Centurion, meaning it decocks and re goes back up to fire uh, for carry because it's lighter weight. Um, you know, this would still serve the home defense role. It has two slots. Some Bredas come with one um, that do have rails. Some have two. Uh, the newest ones have three. Uh, but two slots pretty much good enough here. So this is my first kind of me being off camera tabletop review so if it's not the best guys i apologize just wanted to give you some nice looky loo now being brand new the double action pull is pretty long but i can stack it to right there i just practice stacking it. i'll do some 13 round headshot challenges with this next time hopefully uh, but you can put a D-spring in pretty easy, I believe. So that's something I'll look into doing. In the single action, I was just getting ridiculous splits, I think. So towards the end, I was doing fast fives um, towards part one of what I did today. And single action is just boom, reset. Ridiculous. Because of the weight, 33 ounces of this pistol... No recoil um, at all, and that was with hot SMB, and even when I shot the hollow points, uh, it's really a beautiful pistol. So, the, guys, that is why I feel the Beretta 92A1 is the best bang for the buck, and it's the sexiest, and it's the toughest Beretta, and 92 and 1 you probably want to put in your collection just in case maybe they stop making it eventually when they do more 92Xs and whatnot. So, you know, if you don't want to drop the $700 for a 92X, I've seen a little cheaper on some good sales, but I'm going to wait until I can find the GR Centurion model, and that's going up to $710 on a sale, and it's sold out to $800. This, if you look right now, you can find a very good deal on it. So, Breda 92A1 coming with three magazines instead of buying another Breda for like 570 and it only comes with two 15 rounders. I personally would much ever have the three 
17 rounders. Oh, so guys, uh, the, the McGar magazines, obviously I'm planning on carrying basically with the 18 round magazine and throwing the 20, 20 rounder in for home defense. Uh, the ACK magazines worked great as well. Um, Relentless Tactical, luckily I just happened to get this um, for other pistols, shorter, way shorter barrel pistols. You see what I did there to make a wedge. Um, but believe it or not, this Relentless Tactical worked. It's catching the front sight a little bit, but it's not really mattering on my draw. Um, has managed to work out really, really well for literally every single pistol I own. I have shoved in it, and it gives enough trigger guard cover coverage and a good enough grip that uh, it basically does it for me. Not, so that will save you a lot of money. So I wanted to give them a shout out and thank you for sending it. And um, McGar and Acmags, all good. The 17 round sandbags that come with it, all good. Um, so look for my full review upcoming on the Beretta 92. A1. Thank you guys very much. Please thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe. Always makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Make sure if you're going to carry a deadly weapon, you learn some combatives in self-defense. Look at my playlist. Learn some jujitsu, some catch wrestling, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you very much, everybody.